Hello everyone. This is just a test video of me recording on the 3DS. Now of course I could do it in 3D but you're not going to see it and unfortunately it only works on the 3DS so when I upload this on YouTube it's going to be in 2D. So this gives you an idea of how it looks in 2D and you can record up to 10 minutes which honestly it's fine um, one thing that does kind of suck about this update is that they still don't allow you to while you can upload your own music on the 3DS and use it as an mp3 player which is actually kind of cool they still don't allow you to to upload your own videos to watch so yeah, I still have to rely on my phone to watch videos on it. And I try not to use my phone for media content when it's on the battery. Because, you know, battery kind of sucks on it. And uh, that's one reason why I was using my PSP for so long. And then when I upgraded to the PSP Go, which is still sitting uh, right here. But that was the main reason why I bought a PSP, was to use as a media player. And I was hoping, with the 3DS, is that, alright, I can watch videos on it, which I kind of can do through Netflix and soon Hulu Plus, because I have subscriptions to both services. But I can't upload my own videos on the 3DS yet. And if Nintendo is watching this video, can you make that as a uh, as an update? You know, to upload your own videos because let's just face it, you have an SD card slot on it. It can go up to 32 gigs, which I max it out. I do have 32 gigs of storage on my 3DS, which is kind of ridiculous. But to be fair, I bought the 32 gig for my Wii because I thought Nintendo was going to do something with it and they didn't really do it so anything over say like four gigs is kind of a waste so I figure you know what the 32 gigs on the 3DS might be more useful and now with recording videos even though the quality is a little low and sorry if it's a little messy but um, yeah at least I'm using the storage for something uh, let's see. Yes, I still use the Canon camera. You know, if you've been watching my videos, all the HD videos, uh, it's with uh, this Canon right here. Nice little cheap camera. And I still use the Hapog for gameplay videos. So there it is. And, uh, yeah, there's the 360 in PS3. There's the Wii sitting there. Um, some game updates. Because I'm sure some of you guys are going to be asking. It's like, what games I've been playing lately? Uh, obviously, one game I've been playing a lot is uh, Modern Warfare 3, which I got for the PS3 version. Um, I also picked up Sonic Generations on the 360. And this is actually a really good game. If you're... If you like Sonic games, but you didn't really like the newer Sonics, uh, this is actually really worth picking up. I Unfortunately, I've been hearing somewhat negative reviews with the 3DS version, which is kind of unfortunate. I was actually looking forward to that. But, the console version is actually really good. It's really worth getting. Of course, you know, with the Wii, no surprise, I did pick up Skyward Sword. I've been playing it. And I really like it. And of course with the 3DS. Yeah my 3DS library is kind of grown now. Uh, besides uh, showing off Ridge Racer. Which is I still have the game. I also picked up Dead or Alive Dimensions. Of course Mario Kart 7. Because let's just face it. A 3DS owner without a Mario Kart game. How about two different Mario games? Super Mario 3D Land. Awesome game. 
I also have uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. It's actually a really good port. Um, I never really played the N64 version, so when people complain that, oh, it's just a remake, I haven't played it, and I've been enjoying it. And, of course, uh, you know, I had to spend 30 bucks on the Tetris game. Yeah. It's actually good. You know, it's, it's Tetris, you know. What else am I supposed to say about that? And, of course, I have three DS games. Um, ironically, uh, Sonic Classic Collections. Okami Den. And for some reason, I'm going to pick this game up. Cop the Recruit, which is kind of like a GTA-style game in 3D. But uh, I don't really play the, any DS games anymore. I kind of switched over to the 3DS. So I'll probably just... Uh, throw these in my gaming storage which is in the closet there and if you're wondering how it looks like I don't know if this uh, 3DS cam is going to pick it up too well but uh see the shelving right there that's my gaming storage yep all the consoles I have are stored there and on the top shelf they're kind of up there Man, the black levels on this, you can really see the grain in this video. And uh, you can see all my clothes. But, uh, yeah, let's see. There's my coin jar. I'm trying to make, make this at least 10 minutes long. Might as well max it out. Uh, let's see how much money I have in here. $67.23. Actually, you know what? Let me talk about something else. Is um, you been you'll notice that some of the games. Let's see how many games I have that uses that online passcode. Um, hmm. Well, I think Mass Effect Two uses. Yeah, it kind of uses that. But uh, I think, let's see what other game. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit uses that stupid online pass thing. And honestly, those were the only games and um, Medal of Honor. Are, those are the only three games I have that uses online passcode. And uh, I plan on not buying any more games that has an online passcode because I think it's complete crap. And uh, it's just more hoops to jump through and more BS crap. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Hmm? Well, I guess if you want to know what... Uh, you can kind of see the spine of what games I have. And these are some of the DV movies I have. I don't really buy too many movies. The few I do are like, uh, off well, like, uh, more memorable kind of movies, I think. But ironically, I do have two Uable movies, one of which is uh, Postal. <laughs> yeah, I actually have that. And a non-video game Uable movie called Seed. Now, I'm not saying these are two good movies, but Seed is actually not that bad of a movie. Yeah, it still has that cheapness, filmmaking skills that he does, but it's, it's actually a very slow-paced, somewhat watchable movie, to put it in a nice way. Oh, let's see, of course, you know, who doesn't like Groundhog Day? And uh, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. Have a good day.